Good evening. We're here for Christmas time at SeaWorld. Let's have a Christmas celebration. So we got our little event guide. Thank you, Jill and James, for giving us tickets to this. Yay. And we're gonna try to go on Mako, but like, I don't know how many animals or other attractions we're gonna try to do because we need to get to festivities. And I don't even know if we're going in the right direction because I don't know this place. And it's even weirder because when we were here last, it was super hot and super sunny. And now it's cooler and dark out. Look at these fancy decorations there. St. Nick's Toy Shop. And a photo op over here. Look at that candy can art. I could go for a candy can right now. This looks totally different. This is candy cane light. At nighttime and I'll decorate it out like this. Than when we were here last. I honestly have no idea where I am right now. Just just embrace it. Embrace the freedom. I want the freedom. Wow. This is the sea of trees. heavier in Sea World than Disney. This is crazy. Hold on, Sarah, stop. Look at Sarah's hair. You're covered in covered in snow. We decided we're gonna get some hot cocoa because it's Christmas. Hey, the environment's so bad. Where? You guys are serious. Wait a minute. We didn't see this area last time we were here. Look at them go. Hi dolphins. Merry Christmas to you. Whoa! There's a bunch. We made it into the Christmas area. Check all this out. I love these sound effects, and this looks like a little Christmas tree farm over here. Sarah, I found Santa. Oh, hold the mistletoe Oh, look at that big fancy hot chocolate. That is a new coffee mug for me. Was it good? Did you try yet? We got butterscotch, I just, right? I literally just licked a little bit that spilled and it is so good. And that was seven bucks and they got $3.99 refills. Maybe we'll get a refill after. Yeah, I want to take a pretty picture. Sarah, look at this. is like a story. Can you press the button, please? Our story begins as Santa pays a visit to the That's the sweetest noise ever. And the reindeer games were all over in the air, hiding his nose before his secret was exposed. She thinks I'm cute! She said I'm cute! <laughs> That's my favorite quote. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm kind of nervous. Woo! Hi, how are you? Good. You Look at you. Hello! Merry Christmas. How are you? He just cut your drink down. He doesn't like hot chocolate. You having a good time? Can I have a hug? You are a big dude. Oh. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Wow. Furry. Together they flee the abominable snow. Ooh, spooky. Hey, quiet down over there. Hey, Moonrider. Misfit Toys asks Rudolph to tell Santa about toys. Toys never truly happy until they're loved by a child. My name is Charlie. That's why I'm a Misfit Toy. Oh. Back at 
Christmas Town, everyone has a job to do to get ready for Christmas. Rookie, what he can do. Good job. So, we got good news and bad news. The good news is it was a great and a surprise to me. Bubbles, Bubble, Bumble, Bumble. Bumble. Bumble, the abominable snowman. The bad news is that means that Yukon Cornelius won't be coming out tonight. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's go check this out. We got a visitor. Look at that. Look at these crazy decorations and lights. We got more trees over there. And Sarah's just about topping off her, her butterscotch butter beer. Just joking. Oh, wondrous night. The greatest story never told. Ooh. I'm kind of nervous now. hard to see it. Just open your heart because every time you help someone in need or have faith in the unexpected or give comfort to a stranger, you are sharing the spirit of Christmas. Like that? <laughs> that was special. That, that was, was like, <laughs> That was amazing. I don't even That was incredible. <laughs> was spectacular. I'm gonna be honest with you all, if you celebrate Christmas in any capacity, that what we just watched would blow you away. Yeah, it was so moving. It was moving, it was incredible, the talent was amazing. The, I think, could we go this way? Sure. Dining and restaurant, Seaport Theater, yes, this way. So we have two more big things you gotta hit tonight. Yeah. One is the, I guess, figure skating. Yeah, there's like a figure skating, firework, water show. And then there is a shampoo show. And also a Christmas orca show. It's called like but Air Cultural. Honestly, if I passed out right now instead of bringing me to the hospital, I would say this night was a success. Yeah, oh my god. Just gosh. because of that show we just watched. That was incredible. Uh, That'll put you in the Christmas. That for sure. Well, right before I was like, Sarah, maybe we can find a like a choir or a church in Chicago when we get there to just see some good old fashioned Christmas songs in like a choir setting. Oh. As we walk into that, <laughs> are you kidding me? Yeah. That was a Christmas miracle. Right. That was awesome. We found the winter wonderland. Right over here.
Double confession for Peter Brookhart time. One, I used to play saxophone for about two years. So, got that under my belt. And two, I also went through six months, not even, of figure, figure skating training classes because my parents were into that and my brother went in for like years. He was super good. Peter, like, his dad worked at the rink. I and know that your mom is gonna love that. Though. She's gonna love that right there. And we even went to uh, Albuquerque. How oh, is it Albuquerque? I think it was Albuquerque for the figure skating world's championship, but I know my inner Peter understands figure skating and appreciated that. Um, Sarah's kind of mad at me. Because we're here to see the Oracle Christmas show and we've got these beautiful carols going on. But, Sarah said, let's not sit in the soak zone. I said, we'll sit in the splash zone, not the soak zone. All these benches say soak zone and the, uh, I just realized the ground is so wet from the last show. That was a blast. Favorite thing of the night was the Oh Wondrous Night yeah. little stage show. That was incredible. That was a big stage show. That was a huge stage show with animal friends that was involved. Great entertainment and talent. Then I liked the meet and greets next. The figure skating third and the tree fourth. It was a good time. It was. You ever like? There's a I lot was of. Impressed. We were we were weary because there's a lot of hype about Christmas at SeaWorld. So many comments saying, go to SeaWorld. Yes, and we could have indulged more in the food and everything because there's a lot of specialty festival food kind of things. But we're on that diet, you know. But it all Hot looks really good. good. Hot chocolate was really good. We got butterscotch, so it had like Butterfinger on top. I definitely I left suggest the mug, coming. Guys. Sarah left the mug at Old Winter Night. Well, we both did. It's okay, it's just a coffee mug, and we have plenty of those. Someone, maybe someone else found it, and they're going to enjoy it. <laughs> But with that, definitely come if you get the chance to come to SeaWorld during Christmas time. Do it. It's a lot of fun. Thank yeah. you again, Joel and James. You guys are the best. Yeah, that was wonderful. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.